Hello my curly girls, I am here to do a quick first impressions review. Um, one of them is not a first impression, but is I bought from the company before, but just in a different scent, I guess you want to call it. But the first review and I did a haul video and it's going to upload along with the first review video, unfortunately, I had some other reviews that I needed to upload first. So, um, the first first first, blah, first impression review is going to be on the Petals Bath Boutique uh, candy. I think it's rock candy. Candy. What the heck is this called? You'll see the name of it in the... Um, Review. I think it's Candy Rock. Um, I cut it in half. Basically, it's a four and a half ounce bar. Sorry. Let me see. Yeah, it's Candy Rocks. Because basically, I cut it with the wrapper still on, so the pieces won't break all over the place. But it's called Candy Rocks. And I want to say I absolutely love the smell of this soap. The ingredients are distilled water, sapnified oils of olive, coconut, rice. Rice bran, palm, shea butter, castor, sodium lactate, fragrance, mica, silk fiber. Yeah, silk fiber. Her uh, store is petalsbathboutique.com. Unfortunately, she didn't expect to sell out of this soap and a few of her others as fast as she did. So she is not restocking. Because trust me, when I got this and I smelled them before I even used them, I called her and asked her, will she be restocking, in particular, this soap and this soap and some of her others. She has a rainbow cake soap that's cut in slices. And it kind of looks similar to this, but um, it's like she made a cake of soap and then she sends you slices It's sliced you know like that unfortunately I missed out on that one um, it's in the haul video that I did why I wasn't able to get some of the soaps all of the soaps I, I wanted but I was fortunate enough to get this one this is the other piece that I used and it's on my little rack thing. Um, it does not melt fast as some of the other natural soaps because what I do is I take it, put it in my cloth and rub the soap all over my body for the whole time that um, I am washing. And so as you can see, some soaps, natural soaps, they melt really fast. With this one, it did not, as you can see, it was like this. So, um, I don't think I cut it like in half in half, but you know, this is probably a bigger piece, but it did not melt fast at all. Some of them, they melt so fast that the piece be like this big, you know, by the time I get through with it. But, um, oh my gosh, this soap smells just like candy. And the good thing about it is you can still smell it on your skin. I didn't put any um butters on because I wanted to see really how the soap felt you know after my skin dried if I could still smell it um I was still able to I'm still able to smell it even after you know with some soaps once you wash and you rinse off you can't smell it anymore but I would say with this soap anyways I haven't used any of the other ones this is my first time using her soaps um you can still smell it I don't know what these are. I mean, they're kind of hard, but they, you know, feel kind of like a gel. It's, I don't know. It's kind of hard, but this is a very nicely detailed made soap. So it's not surprising that she would sell out in seconds of a soap. But I don't know what those little jelly things are, if y'all know. You know, leave the comment in the box below. This soap, I believe, was five twenty-five. I did not. She did not have a sale. This was her holiday line, 
one of her holiday lines, soaps anyway. And, um, you know, she was just putting them out. So it was not on sale. I paid full price. Five, most of her soaps are between $4.75 and $5.25. Um, and I like it. I mean, I will buy her soaps. I can't wait to see where she's coming out. She says she's working on her soaps for 2014. So I guess it's whatever she got in the store. That's what she's going to put on sale for Black Friday. Um, yeah. So, um, and I forgot to mention in my other video with these, these were a dollar. And I was so crazy. I only bought two of them. And I should have gotten more than two because, again, she sold out. But it took a little bit for her to sell out of these. But they were only a dollar. And each roll of these are different scents. I mean, it smells very good. So I'm thinking you could probably just pluck it apart and use each roll of soaps. I'm hoping, but this is a thick piece of soap and it's nicely wrapped. So you could give these away as gifts. I don't know why I didn't buy more than two, but I guess I just wanted to try her soap first before I went off and bought, you know, a bunch of them and then didn't like them. Um, but I would definitely, she is definitely one of my soap makers, you know, that I would definitely keep buying from. Her name is Kia Paler. She's out of Pennsylvania and again, Petals Bath Boutique. This is her card. She also has an Etsy store, but I believe she closed her Etsy store maybe because she didn't have a whole, whole lot, you know, to, to put between her Etsy store and her regular online store. But it's PetalsBathBoutique.com. And if you put in Petals Bath Boutique on Etsy, it'll pop up, but it say the store is closed. Anywho, on to the next one. Belle Nouveau. Now, y'all saw me with this before. I told you the first time I ordered, I just ordered one and it was the sweet potato pie scent of the moisture butter, the deep quench moisture butter. Um, soon as I smelt it, before I even used it, because I love the smell, I went online and saw that he had restocked them. And so I got two more. I got the red velvet cake scent and then I got another one of the sweet potato pie scent. This one is the red velvet cake. This one is much thicker than the first one that I got. Much thicker. I don't know, you know, they make these in batches, so but immediately at you know soon as I got it, I could tell that this one was thicker. I haven't looked at the second um sweet potato pie fragrance yet but the first one hold on let me get it one second okay this is the sweet potato pie this is the first one that i got and as you can see this one is more whipped you see how smooth and you know creamy and whipped that is this is the first one that i bought and this one is the red velvet the second one you see how thick See how th much thicker this is? But anywho, um, I love both of them. I think this one is probably a little bit more moisturizing because it's thicker. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be made that way because maybe it's supposed to be more like a cake frosting or something like that. But it smells really good. It smells just like red velvet cake. Um, on top. Yeah, it smells just like red velvet cake. I mean, his scents are spot on. Uh, it's an eight ounce and it's $10, it's $8, I believe. Yeah, $8. So, like I said, I didn't open up the other one, but this one is much more creamier and uh, not as thick as the red velvet cake batch that I got and this was in the second order you know he sold out of the batch that I bought this from so he put up another one like a day or two later and I ordered two more actually yeah a couple of days later and I ordered two more which was I wanted to try the red velvet cake I got this but I love both of them 
Um, these will stay in my rotation. Y'all know I love butters. I love soaps. So um, I just ordered some more butters. I'm looking to, I'm waiting for them to be shipped. Um, I'm looking to order some more butters for Black Friday. Um, and I just want to show you how, just in case some of y'all don't, you know, they emulsify. These have water in them. So it's not like you can use this on the hair as well. And so as you can see, it, you know, it soaks in. I mean, it soaks into the skin very nicely and it leaves the skin moisturized, especially if you put them on your, put it on your feet and put socks on. Oh my gosh, just your feet is just your skin is just so soft. And as you can see, because I didn't put any butter or lotion or anything on after I got out of the tub. But um, I really like his butters. I bought, I bought this specifically for my skin. I don't think I would be using these on my hair. I have enough um, butter creams and butters or whatever for my hair. So there's no need to put it on my hair. I just bought these specially for my body. And so that is my review. You got Belle Nouveau. I'll show you another one so you can see the full name of the young lady, uh, Kia's Soap Petals Bath Boutique, Belle Nouveau. I don't know where her Black Friday sale is going to be. I don't, I haven't went up, been on her page yet, but I don't know what Belle Nouveau's is going to be either. So maybe he's going to say, I know he shut his store down, his Etsy store. He shut it down on the 22nd. Um... Or he's shutting it down. I believe he shut it down already. I'm not sure. I know he was shutting it down to stock up for Black Friday. So um, whatever sale he has, his stuff is very reasonable. The but the moisture quench. I don't think his stuff is more than ten dollars. This is eight. His other stuff like the cocoa caster put in and his conditioners, they are all $10. So even if he gave 20% off, 25% off, and he only charges, I think, like $5.95 to ship. So even if he gave 20% off, I mean, you still can't beat his prices, you know, for his products. I think his products, I really like his products. Um, they work for my hair. Uh, the cocoa caster put in, I loved it. I love the slip, the moisture that I got from it. It worked well with my other products. I love his uh, deep quench moisture butter. It's very moisturizing. It smells heavenly. And the prices are right. So you can't beat that all the way around. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And... Leave your comments in the box below. Please give me a thumbs up. Peace.